Tell me about this new technique, nerve ablation. Uh, what is it used for? How does it work? What does it mean? Yeah, so it, there's a lot of terms to what you just mentioned uh, in terms of nerve ablation. Uh, one term that's commonly mentioned is something called RFA, which stands for radio frequency ablation. These are big words, but I, I'm just telling you in case you, you heard about it. But the bottom line is when people have pain, uh, regardless of where it is, the most common pains are back and neck pain, but it could be used for joint pain or, or literally any nerve. Groin pain after hernia surgery. Um, if we can find the nerve that's causing that um, pain, well, the first thing we do is something called a nerve block, where we take you under an x-ray machine, identify the nerve, inject medicine around there to see if we could turn it off. If we can turn off that nerve, we expect your pain to go way down. Uh, we just want to make sure we can isolate the specific nerve that's causing your pain. Okay. Then we go in and do something called nerve ablation. And what an ablation is, is we um, bring you back, we numb you so you don't feel it, but under x-ray guidance, we put a needle near that nerve. This time we don't inject medicine like we did with a block. We put an attachment on the needle, the tip of that needle gets heated, uh, 90 degrees Celsius, so let's say around 200 degrees almost uh, okay. Fahrenheit. It's almost as hot as boiling water. What that does is it kind of burns and cauterizes around that nerve. and. Um, that can provide long-term pain. So it relief. damages the nerve, so the nerve no longer can, can send the signal, signal to the brain. Correct. Now, key point. Sounds good. It does not do permanent damage, okay. which is excellent for, for you and for everyone, because basically what happens is it'll damage the nerve, and that nerve won't be able to, to fire a pain signal. That nerve actually grow back and, and heal um, uh, over time. Uh, the nerve ablation technique will typically last um, at a minimum around six months, but we've seen it upwards of, of a couple of years. We only target the specific nerve cells that are causing your pain. If we do do one of those ablations, you won't get numb or weak or anything like that. You won't lose any function, but you will notice uh, a blunting effect of pain. And I want to tell you something about a nerve ablation because we don't ablate every single nerve cell there. You know, we ablate some of them. And think of it this way. Okay. Got a great example for you. It's almost like you're putting a muffler on a loud car. You know, you ever hear a car brrr, yeah, going yeah, down yeah. right? You put a muffler on it, it's like brrr. So, you know, you look, if we do a nerve ablation, you'll still feel pain. It'll just be muffled Lessened. and diminished significantly to the point where it's it's not on your mind all the time. Is this for the non-medication crowd, like people that are really trying to avoid medications at all yeah. costs? Yeah, I mean, I, I think those are good candidates for it. It's for patients that are surgical failures and still have pain. Like I just saw a guy, actually a surgeon, truly, literally, I saw a surgeon who had a hernia repair and sure enough had this groin pain. Uh, nothing worked, we did an ablation, now he's much better. And in fact, it was so bad that he couldn't even operate on his own patients because he was having this groin pain, and now he's fine, right? Because we were able to identify the nerve that was causing the pain. That nerve was actually damaged during the surgery that he had, and we were able to, you know, And this is covered by insurance. Covered Medicare, by insurance. Medicaid, I mean, Medicare, Medicaid, all private pay, it is covered by insurance.